Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a quick what's in my bag times two. <laughs> As y'all know, lately I have been in a larger bag for the usual everyday stuff and then a smaller bag for an event or an outing or something I've had to go to. I am currently wearing nine press on nails, so don't judge me, my little thumb nail popped off doing laundry and I just didn't feel like changing it. So my little thumb just been enjoying its best life <laughs> with nothing on it for like two days, but I'm going to change them um, tonight. So yeah, let's get started. All right. So I showed you guys the faded blue coach Cassie 19 a couple months back when I got uh, quite a few coach pieces and I quickly fell in love with the size of that bag and the fact that it was so versatile with the top handle in addition to the chain strap as well as the long crossbody strap that it comes with or if you want to wear it as a long shoulder you could um, so I picked up a couple more colors and I never did like a haul or reveal or whatever I was you know in my moods <laughs> didn't feel like filming and then before you knew it I forgot about it and I was like forget it I'll just show it to them whenever I do what's in my bags so this is the red color um I think I have the tag that says exactly oh sport red let's see if I can get that to show clear sport red from the retail boutique I did get this online they were uh, running a small sale nothing big and some rackets and cash back it was quite a few months ago it was probably within about I would say within two weeks of me having the faded blue one. So this is the red color. Again, you just saw on the tag it says sport red. I don't have the long crossbody strap on it, but I do have the chain strap. I love wearing it with the chain strap as well as picking it up out of the seat with the top handle. So I usually keep that on there. On the side, I do have the hang tag that comes with the bag. And then I have this cute coach. <laughs> Coach Cherry charm from the um, Coach Outlet that I did get as a gift from Miss Michelle, Miss um, Determined to Be. So I carried this the other night for my niece's play that we went to on the other side of town. <laughs> Quite a drive and traffic was a hot mess, but it was perfect for my outfit. I wore it with some black and red um, Jordan 1s that I had, um, some black jeans, and then a cute planner girl um, hoodie that was in white. So inside of here, well first let me show you, it does have that slit on the back. If you're not familiar, this is the smaller um, Coach Cassie, so the one without the top handle. This is the 19 size. Um, it does have the slip pocket on the back. There's nothing in there right now. My phone slides in there and it's currently on the charger so it's not going to be in either of these what's in my bags or either bag this is a brief overview of what I have packed inside and I'm going to show you guys what I have in here all of these things were inside of this bag and I pulled them out and put them in here just for this video so I have my little Ross pink basket to put my goodies in right next to me so in this front um, smaller compartment I have some lip glosses so I have the Fenty Beauty um lip gloss this is fussy if i'm not mistaken let's see here i was not wearing any makeup that day but i decided to toss on some mascara in the car as hubby drove so i have my travel mascara in there i have my little ysl um slip mirror that isn't a combat compact excuse me it's not a compact so the mirror's on the other side but this is just a slim ysl mirror don't be tiptoeing <laughs> I have my clipper that you can clip onto, um, hold on, oops, you can clip onto anything that you need to to hang your bag. So of course I take this just in case there's no hook on the back of the bathroom stall or we go to a restaurant, which we did. We went to Longhorn after the play. Um, my favorite NYX butter, butter gloss, I cannot talk today, <laughs> favorite NYX butter gloss and strawberry cheesecake. I did get that one in love mail and then that little front slip pocket is empty and the larger or the middle compartment. I have my keys. We did go in hubby's truck that day. This is my Louis Vuitton key holder in the Damier bin print with the uh, Rose Ballerine interior. And in here I have the um, other key to his car. And then I have one house key. And that's all I keep in this one. So anytime we go somewhere in his car, I like to switch over to his. And so tucked in the back here, I just have my driver's license, carry license, an emergency car that you normally see um, or I normally talk about in my other key holder. So anytime we're going to his car, I just switch those things out of the back of my other one, put them in this one, and I'm good to go. Let's see here. I have the receipt from Longhorn that I need to fetch. I have the... Um, Compact hand sanitizer spray or compact spray bottle from Sheen that I put uh, Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer in. I have my Louis Vuitton key pouch. Uh, this is authentic from the boutique. 
same thing for my key holder. It's also authentic. Um, I didn't get it from the boutique though. I got it from, where did I get this from? The Real Real, I think. Might have been the Real Real. It, I know it wasn't Fashion File, but I can't remember if it was the Real Real or that other one. But I did get it authenticated. It is authentic. Um, and again, this key pouch I did get from um, the boutique online. I use this as my wallet or card holder, whatever you want to call it. So let's see if I can show you without showing you. So inside, I just have my cards, major, you know, credit card, debit card, things of that nature, health insurance card, anything I would need while I'm out the house. And that other bigger slot, I have my little tiny infamous lace pouch. I love this pouch so much, y'all. I gifted it to so many of you ladies that I do talk to frequently last Christmas, but I love this little lace pouch. I'm using it for... Um, you know like I've showed y'all my grab and go like if I'm gonna go and grab a bag this is the catch-all that's like mandatory so in here I do have my um, nail glue from kiss brand I have my artificial tears which I like to use as re-wetting drops for my contacts I have my Vaseline lip therapy chapstick which is like my favorite Ooh, I have my little power bank that reminds me I need another piece of candy I have my power bank in here uh, my little one laffy taffy I usually have hubby ate it <laughs> the place so I do need to put another one in here I bought some Hello Kitty press on nails from TJ Maxx about a week ago and I really like this super tiny nail file in here I thought it would be perfect for me to do exactly what I did which is put it in this little mandatory catch-all pouch so if I need to file a little hang nail or whatever I at least have that and then I just have the one q-tip um, in here from um, Sheen the little pink q-tips which I do have linked down below um, I think the last time I went to peek for it, someone had commented and asked me about it and I went to look for it. Um, let me leave this open so I remember I need candy. But um, anyway, I think it said that it was sold out, but you guys should always still check back. Um, in that middle section, the next couple things I have in there is my lip liner, the Juvia's Place lip liner, and then my Villa Beautiful pen, which always comes in handy. So you can sign receipts. I have my um, Equate brush strips also need to replace that in that zipper pocket I didn't have anything but the tag to the bag which I just showed you guys that's all I had in there and then in that back section that third smaller slip section I used it as lady pouch so I just had a couple of loose liners and oh I guess I used the wipe <laughs> I didn't even remember um and a tiny sheen uh spray bottle that has some um spray in it so that is all of the things that were in this little coach cassie i love this cutie pie um over the summer i carried the cream one when we went to new mexico for besties retirement ceremony i did post a couple pictures um on instagram when i was carrying that one but i don't yeah i don't remember doing what's in my bag in that one um but i have the red one so let's see we have the red the cream also known as chalk um the faded blue and then what is the other color I got oh the black a classic i got the black they all have the um antique gold hardware they're all from the boutique i did pick them all up um online because i quickly fell in love with that faded blue one so that is the first bag what's in my bag and then this beauty i have been craving to carry her y'all i think i mentioned it in my top 10 fave bag video where i was tagged by um she was deluxe now it's i think simply d don't kill me if i said that wrong girl <laughs> i think it's simply d but i just had a major major itch to carry this bad boy even before i did the video i kind of just been itching to carry this and a couple of my never fools so pretty sure that's what i'm going to be moving into next but this is my authentic louis vuitton artsy um i want to say facebook group is where i got this one um but on here i have one of my new Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer holders. This one is a cute little reindeer with a bow that kind of shakes and shimmers. It's so cute. Um, I can't see what's in here, so I don't remember. But I did pick up some new um, gels recently because we were running low. On here, I have my blue butterfly um, coach outlet uh, back charm or keychain, whatever you want to call it. I thought it was cute, and I did do some blue accessories on the inside here. So. Let me see if I could. She is a big mama, so it's kind of hard to give an overview. I am not using my ring light. I just cannot deal with that washed out stuff. Um, if you guys see or saw <laughs> my K video, then you recognize the purple couch. So I'm currently sitting in the babe cave on the couch um, doing this video for you guys. So let me move the handle to the back. 
that might make it a little easier to show you guys everything and I'm gonna try to let you see it coming out the bag but it's tough um, if you're not familiar with the RT, it does have that very soft like um, suede interior and then it has one zipper pocket with three slip pockets in front of it and then another three slip pockets on the other side. So it's almost like it has its own built-in organizer, which I love. I really wish a lot of other bags had like this many slip pockets. It would be so bomb and help and organize because y'all know I don't generally like those organizers. I just don't like the shape that the bag takes. But I do like how Miss Shonda um, Dazzle Me 77 is using them like a smaller size and sometimes Miss Toya as well. She would use like a smaller size and then you can kind of slide things in on the side. I may try that in the near future but for now everything is just loose in there. So in the back zipper pocket I have my usual. So I have a flashlight. Again, I am doing a blue theme this time. So this is the blue flashlight from the Dollar Tree. I have my mom's key. <laughs> so this is a spare key to my mom's car. Uh, she had a little key situation and yeah, we had to get a new one made. So now I'm responsible for keeping it with extra. I have a blue lotion. This one is Mary Cookie. I found this one in my stash. I have a lot of lotions, so I tend to switch and make it match if I can another chapstick y'all know I can't go anywhere without these I'm sure I've said it before but I keep a chapstick in every room you hear me every room there's a chapstick in the man cave that ain't even my cave that ain't even my room you hear me it's man cave and I still got a chapstick in there um so that back pocket is empty some of the other goodies that would have been in there y'all saw me pull out of that red um coach Cassie right here with her little cute self she's so cute I just love her adorable all right so back pocket is full those three slip pockets in the front um in front of that pocket the one on the far left i did have my trying to make her tilt y'all i did have my blue with the purple on it yes please <laughs> victoria's secret chain or keychain uh with my airpods sorry trying to flip it around my finger got stuck so i've got my airpods there from um more well, airpod cases from amazon love that in the center slip pocket i have my keys my regular keys so the black empreinte louis vuitton six key holder that i have been rocking with forever with my hot stamp on the inside sorry y'all god i cannot hold it um and then this has my car key all the keys <laughs> mama house key sister house key ups box key gate key all the keys so that's my keychain and then in the other slip pocket i had my um taser or stun gun whatever you want to call it clipped onto that pocket let me double check sometimes when you pull it off it will turn itself on which is perfect when you need to use it against an attacker but when you need to move it around you want to make sure it's empty so trying to show you guys if I can those little slip pockets nope that's the zipper pocket <laughs> let me see if I zip it up if y'all can see it and there are some previous what's in my bags on my channel in this bag I love this artsy so much you guys it will probably be one that I show once a year if not more often so if you hate to see it you can go on and exit the video I will not even be mad so in there in the middle is the rest of the bulk of my goodies that are in there um, I chose to use my larger wallet this go round so this is an authentic Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet I got this from Fashion File um, the first year I started adding Louis Vuitton to my cart. So the back slip pocket is empty. I don't have anything in there. Make sure everything's tucked in. All right, cool. On the inside, I have my cards. I have one measly dollar, y'all. I do not have much cash. I don't have any coins in the zipper. I cho chose to use my round coin purse this time. Um, and then on the other side, I also have a couple of other cards. And I think that's it. I don't think I had anything in the back slip pocket. I think I have my health insurance cards tucked in the back, but I moved it to that um, key pouch when I moved over those other cards for the night for us to go to the place. So Sarah Wallet. Then I have my small ring agenda, aka the A7 size or key M agenda or pocket rings tucked in the side. I'm actually using one of my pen gem pens. I don't know, y'all. Just haven't used it in a while. And I just had the urge. So I tucked her in here. And then this is the updated setup. I changed the dashboard. It says luxuries in the details. Added a couple of cuties over here. Look how cute this is, y'all. Let me show y'all. Mm. Y'all see that? It says, I'll take a Monday coffee to go. Isn't that cute? So cute. I love that. It's from Fox and Pip. I've had it in my collection for quite some time. Um, I'm not sure if that's still available, but you definitely should check out the Fox and Pip website. She has some gorgeous things. And in here, I think I showed you guys um, 
the dividers that I made. At least I think I did. So I made that one. And then the next one. And then the final one. So yeah. So pocket planner, glorified notebook essentially. I write down notes and errands and shopping lists and stuff like that out the house and any appointments I book I write them in there and then I move them over. Next I have my mini pochette. I have not carried this little cutie in a while. I originally purchased the regular monogram with no animation on it and then when this one came out I sold that one. I was so in love with this one. I love that pop of color with that blue. So of course that's what color the inside is. Inside of this is just my infamous lady pouch product. So I have my usuals. I have a tissue. I have my sheen pouch which is the larger size one that holds my liners. I have another pouch from Sheen, the standard size for business cards or credit cards and I have floss sticks and those pink q-tips in there. I have my soap sheets from Shop Miss A, some liners, two expandable, oh, Jesus, if I can hold them, all right, <laughs> two expandable washcloths from Sheen, and then one of these is a little bit almost out, and another one's, oh, take that back, they're both halfway, anyway, spray bottles from Sheen, I put different perfumes and Bath and Body Works scents in here in order to create little bathroom sprays. So, put my goodies back in here, if y'all don't mind. So yeah, so this is my lady pouch. I have not carried my mini pouchette in a while. When I do, I usually don't use her as a catch-all. She's usually not big enough for that. Not for me anyway, I'm ridiculous with it. Um, I wanted to see something real quick though. Yeah, see that's way bigger. Um, so when I carry her, I usually use her as a lady pouch or I will use her as a, um, what you call it thing? A makeup bag. <laughs> All right. So next in here, I have I'm trying to make it where you can see it. I have my toiletry 19. Haven't carried this cutie in a while. This is also an authentic piece. Um, I think a Facebook group. I think I also got this one pre loved from a Facebook group. So just the toiletry 19. So really big. Um, I'm not gonna say really big, but it's a, a traditional size pouch. This one's great to use as a catch all, which is exactly how I'm using it. When I had everything in here, this lace pouch that's my emergency catch-all or my grab-and-go was literally inside of here and then it zipped up just fine so it was tucked inside of there zipped up everything was all in one but like i said if i need to grab something and i don't have room for this this i grab and go so in here i have my usual catch-all things so i have my little sheen pouch that's my little first aid kit with band-aids butterfly strips alcohol pad nails foreign you name it this little pouch is from the Dollar Tree and I have an extra pair of contacts in there. I have my gold um, pill pouch from um, Sheen that's got pain meds in it. I have my cuticle oil from Shop Miss A. I have, I think I have two of them. Yep, two scrunchies, ponytail holders, hair tie, whatever you want to call it. I have my little travel that thing, I swear it's always popped out doesn't bother me though because it doesn't like write on anything or put white out on anything but I wish it would stay inside where it's supposed to be but this is a tiny white out from Bic love having that I have a travel size Jergens lotion for the family should they need some lotion so of course when I'm in a smaller bag they just love to wear what I'm wearing or be ashy I got a little cloud in here or box cutter razor whatever you want to call it it is pink um this is a YSL perfume it is Mon Paris this came in a gift set that I did purchase um while we were on vacay in September got the uh cream shop nail file which I did get in a love box I love that have my pink tweezer pink I'm tripping purple matter of fact y'all look my sister sent me this video and this girl, it was like an ASMR type of video and she was like tapping on things with her nails. But what happened was in the beginning of the video, somebody was saying that purple is the best color ever and it's the rain of all colors, yada, yada, yada. And so the girl spent the entire video touching and picking up and tapping her nails on everything pink. And when she did, she would go, like real exaggerated it was hilarious so now it's like a running joke with me and my sister every time she sees something pink and she like it or even if I'm talking about purple we'll just both look at each other and scream out purple in that same tone but anyway these are my pink tweezers I thought y'all would find that story funny because that was too funny I was cracking up laughing that night she sent me that video and I was like girl that's really how it is like purple is bae I don't care about you or your pink not really y'all know I like pink too pink's my second um purple uh what do you call the thing nail clipper 
tiny little bottle from Sheen that comes in a four pack. You can use it for whatever you want. I have Tatcha face moisturizer in it. So my catch all is completely empty. I'm gonna put my goodies back in here. This one does have the wipeable interior, just like the um, cosmetic pouch from Louis Vuitton does. I only own one cosmetic pouch. Some days I think I want to get the monogram one um, in the PM size. And then some days I'm like, oh, girl, you got a thousand pouches. Do you really need that? In here down there is a Wapiti case. I recently got this one from my friend Nicole. She had purchased it, was using it as a little wristlet. She even sent the little straps that she was using with it. When she purchased it, it didn't have a strap on it. I probably would never use this as a wristlet. This would not be to hold everything. Um, but I'm currently using it to hold my lip glosses. So I um, also had that YSL mirror. I don't even remember where I put it. <clears throat> anyway, on one side of the little wobbity case there's like a little slip pocket so I had that YSL slip mirror tucked in there so it wouldn't get scratched or messed up and then on the inside I just have the rest of the lip glosses that weren't in the Coach Cassie so this is the red ruby rose that I like to wear from Juvia's Place um, and then that YSL red lipstick that I got in that gift set and then this little wobbity case is completely empty so this was my little lippy pouch um, when I had everything in here and I'll make sure that mirror gets put back. And then I have my sunglasses case. This is the Coach uh, Boutique sunglasses case. I did cut the strap off the side. If anybody is wondering, actually, nope, it's this side. If anybody is wondering where the strap is that's usually hanging from this, I cannot stand those. So I do cut it off. I know it doesn't look sexy um, at the spot where it's cut off. It really doesn't. However... I prefer that over having that dangling strap but I love this T-Rose turn lock um, you turn it to open it on the inside I just have my favorite pair of shades and one of those little cleansing cloths and that was my sunglasses and then for change I chose to use my round coin purse which has the same print as my mini pochette this is also authentic I did get this one when it released from the boutique or did I get this from a Facebook group because it was sold out one of the two anyway in here as you can hear i do have change i don't have too too much but i have a little bit i have a little something something because i have some cash and i spent it all except for that little dollar that y'all see that i have left so we have that and then that is everything in the big section on the other side in the slip pockets if you can see them on this side over here i have Trying to make it stay in frame. I have the watermelon icebreaker duo mints. Love the flavors, all the flavors. Um, that one doesn't have too much left in it. And we were in Walmart recently and I saw pina colada and I was like, hmm, I wonder what that tastes like. Add to court. That is all that's in that one. Then the one that's in the middle, I have my tissue pouch from the Novel Crown. This one is blue with purple. So I thought with the blue, it matched with, you know, the theme that I was going with this time, which is essentially blue and monogram. So, oh, Jesus. <laughs> in the front, tissues. And then, of course, in the zipper pocket, I have uh, cough drops, a mint, and then another piece of Laffy Taffy candy. So this is my little tissue pouch. Get in there. Um, What else? I think that's it for that middle slip pocket and then in the other slip pocket I have the candy pouch so got a chance to pull this cutie out I know I hauled this back in a couple videos ago where I showed you guys the kiss locks that I picked up from Sheen this one's got a cute little dog on it with the blue and I thought it would be good for any denim bags or anything blue so it worked out perfectly with this setup and I just have the extra candy in here extra salt packets so I have that little candy pouch and then I think my digital business card is the only other thing in this pocket so last slip pocket has my digital biz digital business card which has the qr codes for my instagram as well as my um youtube channel and as y'all can see this artsy is floppy these charms are like pulling her down more than she would already slouch um but i do keep her stuffed when i'm not using her so she's not gonna lose her shape um on here i have another safety tool this is a knife but it looks like a house key and then I have my two charms from my bestie and my back sisters. And that is all, ladies and gentlemen. She is completely empty. Double check and making sure because with all these slip pockets, you could forget what you got down in one of the pockets. <laughs> but I think that's everything, y'all. Yeah. So she is completely empty. I love, love, love this bag. I swear. Like I said, you guys will probably see multiple What's in My Bag videos on her. Probably one, if not two, per year because she bae. She bae. 
and she does have feet on the bottom if anybody's interested in the rt and came to this video to kind of get another look i know i like watching a lot of what's in my bags i don't really watch reviews on bags per se i really watch what's in my bags because i want to see the bag move i want to see the mouth stretch i want to see how things get pulled out and put in i'm weird y'all i'm quirky like that so anywho i will let you guys go i just want to show you guys this quick little what's in my bag these two bags i was in and yeah it's time to switch to one so i gotta decide what i'm moving into i, I need to move into something with tags but see the way my cravings are set up I'm just craving to carry a Neverfull, so it's probably going to be that or maybe my purple coach city tote. I don't know. We shall see. But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.